tired of making that same old pasta? If so, you're in luck again. We're in the kitchen with Chef Neil Fuentes. He's here to show us how to spice things up a little bit, as you always do. Well, we try. What are we making we're today? Gonna, we're making um, bucatini alla matriciana. Okay. This is a typical Roman dish. This is eaten all the way all over Rome. And it's made with this very interesting noodle called bucatini. And the cool thing about this mm -hmm. is it's like a little straw. You can oh, actually, if you see, hollow? yeah, look at this. If you notice, I can go like here and make bubbles out of it. Yeah? Oh, there you go. I bet you there's an added bonus with that, though. Well, yes. What happens is any <laughs> sauce that you make, once you cook the pasta, it's going to expand a little bit. Mm -hmm. The hollow part of the pasta is going to become a little wider, and all the sauce is going to go inside Ooh, even the better. pasta. That's what makes <laughs> it really, really cool. So this, this dish is actually really, really simple. It's really easy to make, so you can make it at home at any time. So you probably have the ingredients on hand? <coughs> you probably do. Okay. Um, we're going to use today, we're going to start with a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Right? We're going to, we have a hot pan right here and then I have here pancetta if you out there at home do not know what pancetta is it's actually bacon okay but the difference between pancetta and bacon is the fact that bacon is smoked okay pancetta isn't okay it's cured I didn't know that. yes but it's not smoked so that is the difference but what we do is we grab a little bit of pancetta and we're gonna fry them in a little olive oil okay. and we get them let them get really really nice and caramelized that's the idea and that what's going to happen too is going to flavor the olive oil as well. Okay. To that, we're going to add a little, another aromatic, which is garlic. We have a little bit of minced garlic, and it's going to go right there, Ooh, just like that. It's already smelling good. Oh, it's, 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 I wish you can, guys can smell it on smell at home. Smell a vision. Smell a vision, yeah. <laughs> so what we do is we just basically pretty much caramelize. Now, this you can do uh, with a. We're going to, let's talk about the tomatoes. Okay. You can do it with tomato sauce. However, I'd rather do it with real fresh tomatoes. Sure, we and noticed I, that you peeled them in the Right, at the segment. beginning of the segment, we actually peeled them, right? So all the skin comes right off, and this is what you're going to get. It's just a beautiful, ripe, no skin tomato. So what you do is you cut them in little cubes. Sure. And you put them right in there. Okay, so just far like this is pretty easy, Neil. Very simple, right? And then what happens is all these tomatoes and the juice of the tomatoes is going to start getting reduced. Okay. And it's going to become what it is, the sauce. Got it. Now, pancetta and bacon, as you probably know, are very, very salty ingredients. So you have to be very careful about the amount of salt that you put on this dish. You don't want to overdo it. No, you don't want to overdo it because pancetta is already salty. Okay. And besides of that, we're going to make, we're going to give this dish a little bit of more saltiness by adding this Can't specific go wrong with cheese. cheese. What kind of cheese is this? This Neil? is pecorino romano. Got it. All right. And then we add a little bit of pecorino romano. Just you don't like have any that. Italian in you, do you? Um, Maybe no. a little? <laughs> I mean, when I was a flight attendant, I used to be to go to Italy. I went 33 times to Rome. Really? Seriously. I mean, That's if I either... Job. Oh, it this was, was so before much you were in the kitchen? Oh, that was when I was 21 year old. Oh, okay. So put it that way. So basically, <laughs> and, and then you add your salt, your pepper, you add your cheese, you see? And then the cheese is going to start melting, and it's going to become a sauce. Okay. So let's switch. I have a final oh, product right here. Oh, the made-for-TV version? Okay. Of course. I'll keep my eye on this one for you. Yeah. yeah and where's then, Billy, by the way? You always bring your... Uh, Billy uh, is, yeah, Billy is working today. He's <laughs> okay. in the restaurant right now, making, working on some paperwork All and right, stuff like that. Well, but so I have a couple of things coming up. Did Let you hear me about know. it? Let me know. You're well, always busy. The literacy, Milford Literacy Center um, fundraiser is coming. Okay. Um, I, that's where everything started. I saw how I started in Connecticut Style uh, four years ago, and now it's happening again, again. And this time, instead of me going and compete, I'm now a judge. Ah. So I'm going to be judging the competitors, making some food and blah, blah, blah. I'm also part of the food and wine festival in Greenwich. Oh, that's a nice one. I am going to be sharing the stage with amazing chefs like Ted Allen and Graham Elliott, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm going to be singing at the Excel Center on September 30th. It's quite an audience there, oh, Neil. Oh, my God. Are you ready God. for this? Um, yeah, <laughs> I guess I am. So what we did is we, we cooked the pasta, right? Now, which right is, you, you put the, the, the bucatini, what is it? Bucatini. Bucatini right in the frying pan. Right in the frying pan because we're going to finish cooking it here. Okay. The sauce is going to start getting involved Ooh. with everything. See what I mean? Yes. And that's all. And then once you put all the sauce in there, you add a little bit more cheese because you can never go wrong I with a little bit there. more cheese. And it's just ready to go. And that and that's all it is. Wow, See that's how simple easy. it is? Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to follow what I'm doing, just look at me on Facebook. 
And you can watch my new show, The Recipe Makeover. Tell it's right us there. more about that because we have a little bit of time on our hands. Yes, well, The Recipe Makeover is a show made by this uh, beautiful hummus product going out there on the market. Okay. And then they're producing a new show with three amazing chefs, Iron Chef Manicho Han from Food Network. Yes, I recognize Chris that Chris Chung, name. also from Food Network, who was on Anthony Bourdain. And myself are the hosts of Some this show. Some serious company you got oh there. Oh my Look God! Look at you! This is Don't so forget us when you're a big guy. I'm, I'm having so much fun with good, this. I'm happy. With, Neil, we're gonna taste this at the end of the show. Okay. Sounds good. And of course, you'll have the recipe at wtnh.com. Just click on Connecticut Style. All right.